Hello, what's up? Unless you've been living under a rock, you'd be familiar with this new genre of fake online millionaire gurus that have just flooded the internet. They're your typical drop shipping, course selling alpha males that always know more about getting women than you. There are a bunch of guys like this that randomly spawn in every once in a while, but there's this new guy that just dropped. Uh, his name's Jason Wojo. One of this guy's videos blew up and it was on my TikTok for you page. And he's the perfect example of this grind set, like Sigma mentality clone that you see all over TikTok. Let's take you for example and me. And we both pull up and we go to your girl. Odds are, I'm gonna take that bitch. If you compared me to you, you're not gonna win that battle. So the next time you think that your girl's on lock, I got the keys to the castle, motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't know that I was in the presence of Mr. Playboy himself, a woman-wielding wizard. This guy's whole perception of women is like those 2013 gold digger prank videos on YouTube where women will apparently leave everything in their life behind for a dude in a nice car. He then goes on about having the keys to a castle. What? I don't even know what that means. But there is no way that this guy has the keys to any metaphorical castle. After that video, I go and check out his account and I see that it's a fan account. A fan account posted that video. There is a fan of this guy. I then do the most surface level digging and I find out what's really going on. It's the same type of marketing that guys like Andrew Tate use where they make you make videos about them. And if those videos can sell their product, then you'll get paid. It's also probably why the content is so similar where you basically have this one nerd that says the most outrageously brain dead take to get attention. Meanwhile, there's like Sigma grindset music playing in the back. And just like Tate, this guy also chooses to idolize a car, but instead of it being a Bugatti, for him, it's a McLaren. He has a weird obsession with this car where he treats it like it's the answer to all of life's problems. Ah! Here's why the gym does not matter. I'm tired of guys that are like, oh, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm trying to get fit. I feel like I have a pretty decent tone. I don't need to go to the gym. I mean, two seconds in, and even he's laughing at himself. Obviously nobody not even himself can take him seriously. Even the comments on the video were flaming his ass. The man with the decent tone then decides to drop this absolute masterpiece of a take. Because you pull up to the gym, making less than 10K a month, pulling up in your bullshit fucking Corolla, and I pull up in my McLaren. It's not even a contest, dude. No one gives a fuck about your muscles. Most of the guys that go to the gym, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're fucking stupid. All that pre-workout that you're taking is making you more stupider. Jason, the academic weapon, then drops this absolute gem about how people who take pre-workout are becoming more stupider. So clearly this guy knows what he's talking about. He then balls up with a video about why these people are more stupider. The gym rats hated that video. They're like, oh, like, you know, I go to the gym to relieve stress. It doesn't matter though, because if you go to the gym and you have no other attributes, you're just a guy who knows how to lift shit. You don't have anything else to offer. So when women go out in the marketplace and try to find a man, they're not looking for a guy who can lift. They're looking for a guy who has all around attributes to make sure they can feel safe, protected, taken care of, and they have a good future with them. Wait, wait, wait. The gym rats hated that video? I mean, you only insulted them and called them all stupid. I mean, how unreasonable can they be? Obviously, hitting the gym is this guy's niche when it comes to this, like, be controversial to go viral type of content. He then makes a claim about how women won't want a guy who just goes to the gym and has no all-round attributes, as if that doesn't make him the victim of his own logic. He then talks about how women need to be protected and taken care of as if he'd be able to step up and solve the slightest inconvenience. This guy's brilliant opinions then got the attention of a content creator called Charlie or Most Critical, who also made a video calling him out on how fake everything he does is. Oh, why I don't believe him about the success of his business is because the only thing he shows that's worth money is his car, the McLaren. He's made like a thousand shorts about how much money he spends filling up a McLaren's tank. Okay, so this part pisses me off because he says the name wrong like eight times in a row. It's not McLaren, it's McLaren. Okay, so that's how we know this guy doesn't really have a lot of status. He doesn't understand these things. Truly a 4D chess move from Jason here. Charlie calls him out on how fake his rich guy persona is. And his answer to that is to become the grammar police and to point out how he mispronounced McLaren and said McLaren a couple times. He then decides that means that Charlie doesn't have any status which is unbelievably ironic given how successful he is online. He also tries to act frustrated and inconvenienced that somebody's calling him out as if he isn't absolutely salivating at the fact that somebody with a big platform is giving attention to his meaningless videos. But if you think this type of content is all Jason can offer, 
you'd be wrong. As he's also dabbled with making educational videos as well. Which animal has three hearts? I'm gonna give you three seconds to comment down below. Well, if you guessed octopus, that is correct. Not only can he pronounce McLaren, but he's also a man of trivia. He has a bunch of videos like this in addition to the stuff I talked about earlier. I don't have the slightest clue what would compel him to make middle school trivia content in addition to his other quality stuff. But hey, maybe these videos are the keys to the castle for getting women that I clearly don't have. But if after all this, you still aren't convinced by this guy's fake persona and still might think there's something redeemable about him, the icing on the cake is when you take a look at his Instagram. He's almost got a whopping million followers on Instagram, but 99% of his posts barely have over 2,000 likes. Either this guy's got the most dead conversion rate, or he's absolutely sprained his fingers from the Instagram follower generator buttons. Anyways, that's all I basically really have to say about this guy in this video. If you found this video even half decent, please tap the like button so that I can get even an ounce of engagement on this video so that it can help me stack my bread up. Anyways, that's all. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>